I'm absolutely thrilled to be joining the Indiana Fever. Um, I'm very thankful to uh, Tamika Ketchings and head coach Marianne Stanley uh, for, for giving me this opportunity and I do not take it lightly. And um, I'm just ready to get started, been excited and I'm happy to be here and um, happy to be out of quarantine and in the mix now. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you, Lako. Uh, we'll go to questions now. Uh, Akeem, you want to start us off? Yes. Uh, hello, Coach. Uh, my name is Akeem Glassby. I'm a reporter with the Indy Star. And uh, my, my first question to you is, uh, if you could describe yourself uh, as a coach and what uh, kind of uh, coaching style you hope to bring to the team. Um, I think the, the perfect way to describe me would be I'm a player's coach. I was a player. Um, I was in their shoes once upon a time. So um, I know what it takes um, at this level to be successful. Um, and I also know the things that they go through. Um, so my style would be, I'm a player's coach. I like to get to know them. Um, so in knowing their personalities, uh, that allows me to understand the best way to reach them and the best way to help them uh, reach their highest potential. Very nice. And uh, you, you talked about being able to relate to the players, but uh, this uh, situation in the bubble is definitely a very new for everyone. Uh, it sounds like you had to go through quarantine as well. Uh, how difficult was that? I understand that can be an isolating kind of experience. And is, could you ever imagine having to go through something like this uh, in order to be able to uh, return to uh, coaching on the sidelines? Uh, definitely not. Um, but, you know, the times that we're living in right now, um, we have to be extremely cautious. Uh, I knew going in that I would have to quarantine for a little bit, but you don't really know what to expect and how you will respond to that because you are in isolation. It can be a little difficult, um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's what's necessary. And this game I absolutely love, so it's all worth it. And it's all worth it to be, to be able to protect us and protect our players and what we're trying to do here, so. Uh, ben Rosoff. Yeah, Coach, uh, welcome. Obviously, some players have opted out this season, whether it's due to health concerns or social justice initiatives. I'm just wondering for you, were there any reservations coming into the bubble? And, and what was kind of the thought process when you were evaluating whether to come or not? There were never any reservations for me. Like I just said, I absolutely love this game and I love being a part of the W. Um, I, I was a part of the W as a player for 10 years. Um, and then I was into college coaching for a little bit, but I always missed being a part of the WNBA. So um, to get that phone call and this opportunity presented itself, it wasn't something, it wasn't even a second thought. I knew that this was an opportunity that I couldn't turn down. Right, and then uh, with this roster, obviously the team has kind of struggled in the past couple of years, but they have a lot of promising young pieces. And, and obviously we saw that last night. Can you just talk about what excites you about working with this roster specifically? The youth. Um, we're very young. Um, I think our oldest player is Candace, and of course I'm familiar with Candace, but besides that, we have a very young roster. So um, to be a part of developing um, these young minds and um, these players and helping them, you know, reach their highest uh, potential. There's so much potential on this team. There's so much talent. So um, the ceiling is as high as, as as they want to reach and just being a part of the process and helping them realize the potential that they have and understand what it takes to be a professional and, and understanding um, what it takes to win at, at this level. Um, so I'm, ex I'm excited about that and they're eager to learn and that's always a good thing. Uh, Kim, you have another one? Yes. Uh Coach, uh, how quickly did this process happen in terms of uh, the team reaching out to you and to you getting here? Um, I know Coach uh, Schilling injured herself, and uh, I would imagine the process started shortly after that. But um, how, how quickly did you – what did they reach out to you? And did you have any a previous relationship with uh, Tamika? Um, I've known Tamika since uh, we played against each other a few times in college. And then, of course, we – played against each other for years in the W. And um, so I've known her for a while. Um, I, it was about a week and a half turnaround from the time that they reached out to me. And then I spoke with Marianne and, you know, 
she had to think about it and um, she decided to uh, offer me the position and I'm, we're very grateful for that. Um, but it was about a week. So I, I knew it would be a quick turnaround. So I was kind of in case um, I did get the job, I was kind of preparing for that. And my next question is, will you be scrimmaging with the team? <laughs> I know you're a former <laughs> player, and I know uh, Coach Schilling was willing to get out there with the guys. Uh, have you thought about uh, jumping in and uh, scrimmaging a little bit? Well, I don't think they want any more injuries, whether it be me or one of the one of our team members. Uh, but anywhere that needs me to help out, I'm willing to get in there. So whatever she needs from me, whatever they need from me, then that's what I'm going to do. Uh, ben, you have another one? Yeah, Coach, I'm kind of just curious. What were you up to before this happened? What, what was kind of going on in your life before, before you came to the bubble? Well, I was in college coaching um, for about almost six years since I retired in 2014. Um, and then I was out of coaching for about a year. I was working in corporate office for Toyota. But, um, and then this opportunity came about. Coach, I got a question. Since uh, you said you last played in 2014, what do you see any changes, evolutions with the game? You've been around the team now for three games. Uh, what, what do you see that's different about the game, or is there anything that's still still the same whenever you were playing? Um, there's definitely some changes. I'll tell you this: um, undersized post players, we're extinct now. So <laughs> <laughs> um, we're definitely bigger taller and more athletic. 